What's going on? Welcome back to Freelance School. My name is Chris Corman. In today's video, I'm going to show a really cool topic that I think is super helpful. I don't know if, uh, you know if you've seen it. If you have ChatGPT4, you've probably seen it. But now ChatGPT has the ability to remember across conversations. This article that I clicked on said, yeah, February 13th, 2024. Maybe people had it rolled out before that. I didn't see it till today. But this is amazing. Why is this cool? Um, if you ever use ChatGPT, it's kind of annoying having to train uh, ChatGPT every time you're trying to get it to do something and remember all your preferences. So now um, it's going to have like a memory bank thing here, and you're going to be able to, if you hover over your conversation, like when you start a new one, I'm, get, I'm getting ready to audit the forms on a Shopify e-commerce store. But if you hover over here, um, you can see what it's remembering. So like, for example, it's remembering the App Shopify e-commerce store, it sells coffee and, Clav and use Clavio as a platform for assistance. And then it's gonna start stocking up here. And basically, in my opinion, what's gonna end up happening, I'll make another video on this later on, you're gonna wanna start curating the memories it has so that it's not like, you don't want to have like contradictory things. Um, you can still create temporary conversations. Um, there's a I'll put this link here to the explanation of it, but basically you can have like a memory based conversation and then you can also, you can clear, you can make sure it doesn't even take, you can turn memory off. Um, I think memory is super useful, but I'll also, then there's like temporary chat in, in case, like, let's say you don't want to curate your memory. You could do temporary chat without memory. Um, so that you're, you're just interacting with the default model and it's not getting modified by past conversations. But this is amazing. I appreciate this. And also this was the biggest reason why I didn't like doing, making, uh, using GPTs and making GPTs because they were, like I had to retrain the context window every time I had to do like an actual um, task uh, for my market agency, for a client. And now that they have memory, that's amazing. I'm gonna get ready to train a new GPT now and I'll make a video on that and tell you how it goes. But if you've been using this memory thing and you've got any comments on that or any questions on it, feel free to drop those in the comment section below. If you have any questions about freelancing, doing digital marketing that you want help with, also look for a link in the description below. But that's it for today and have an amazing day. Peace.